And today, let's talk about how you can blur and track objects in Adobe Premiere. Let's go. Okay, lights, camera, and action. What is up, guys? Sean here, and thanks for stopping by. If you're new, remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. And if you're returning because you're already subscribed, well then, thanks for coming back. Okay, so let's make this tutorial pretty quick and just jump right in. How to guide starts now. I'm not gonna dive into the detailed importing and tool sets that I use here because I already did that in the video I'm gonna link above. Instead, I'm just gonna dive right into the blurring and tracking. So with your video already imported into Adobe Premiere and onto your timeline, the first thing you'll wanna do is create a new adjustment layer. And because organization is key, you're gonna rename that adjustment layer to blur. Now we'll drag that newly created blur layer to the timeline on top of the footage that you want to blur or adjust. And with that layer selected, head on over to your effects tab and search for mosaic. A couple of side notes. My effects tab is located to the right of my screen because that's just how I have my window set up. You may have yours set up completely different, or if you want yours to look just like mine, head on over to the Windows tab on top, click Workspaces, Effects, and bam, now your setup looks just like mine. Additionally, the Mosaic Blur that I'm using is a creative choice. I'm just using it because that's what I wanted to use. You can change the blur type to anything that you want, really. And with those notes out of the way, we'll drag the Mosaic Blur to the blur layer that we created and adjust the settings in the effects pane till they're where I want them to be. Now, while still in the effects pane, you'll notice that there's a circle or an oval, square, and a pen. These are the tools that we're gonna use to create the area you want this effect to effect. And just to make things simple, we're gonna use the circle or over tool. And just to make things simple, we're gonna use the circle or oval tool. Or oval tool. That's really hard to say. Once there, I'll adjust the settings for the mask to my liking, and now it's time to track. You're gonna click the stopwatch next to the mask path option. And if for whatever reason you've lost the content in your effects pane, then just make sure your blur layer is still selected. And again, to make this easy, we're not gonna make this a perfect track and move it frame by frame. Instead, I'll jump around in my timeline and create keyframes where I think necessary to track the object. And anytime you wanna create a keyframe, you just click the diamond here. Once I'm satisfied with the track, I'll preview it, and this is what I got. All right, guys, that was simple, and that is it for this video. Did you find it helpful? Drop a comment below and let me know. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.